What's up amigos, welcome to another video of a deeper look. In this video, we are going to overtake the concept of variance in c -sharp. Strictly speaking, we will talk about covariance and contravariance, including a look at how they are applied to generic type parameters. So without further ado, let's dig in. I have created a new console application with .NET Core 3.1 and c -sharp 8. You will be fine with any version of .NET newer than version 4. Because this is the version which started this whole thing. Okay, in this video I need you to know about two types in .NET. Both of them are available in system namespace. First one is the action delegate. This delegate can hold reference to methods that take one parameter or up to 16 parameters as input. No return type is specified, so return type is void. Another one is function delegate. This one is similar to the previous one with one major difference. This one also takes an output type parameter so we can specify output type. Now let's start with creating three types that we need for this video. First one is the class of vehicle. The second one is a class of car. And this one derives from vehicle. Third one is the class of aircraft. This one also derives from vehicle. Now, let's talk about covariance. Now, let's create two cars and assign them to vehicle. Now let's create an aircraft and assign it to a vehicle. As you can see all the cars are vehicles. But not all the vehicles are cars. This one is an aircraft. And the other ones are cars. Now let's create a method that returns a vehicle. Let's assign this method to a function. When we call this function, we receive a vehicle. Now what if we change the vehicle to a car? We are calling this function that returns us a vehicle, but the underlying method is always returning a car. So. We are looking at the method that returns a car from the eyes of a method that always returns a vehicle. This is called covariance. Because the car is covariant with vehicle. A car is a more drived class and vehicle is a less drived class. So a car is implicitly casted to a vehicle. Now let's create another method. This method returns void and accepts a vehicle.
Let's assign this new method to an action delegate that receives a vehicle. Now we can pass the vehicle to this action. This is a normal thing that we do every day. But let's change it a bit. We change this vehicle to a car. This is now a little bit counterintuitive. We are assigning a method that accepts a vehicle to an action that accepts a car. But how is this working? If we look at this line from the perspective of this action, we have a method that accepts a car. But from this side, we accept a vehicle. If we assign a car to the this side, a car will be implicitly casted to a vehicle. So we have no problem. So let's change this vehicle to a car. This is called contravariant because we are assigning a less drive class to a more drive class. Now, before we go any further and extend our knowledge to the area of the type parameters of generics, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and enable the notification bell. This will help me a lot and you will be notified whenever a new video is available. Thanks for your support. Now let's talk about covariant and contravariant in generic type parameters. Let's create an interface. We call this I covariant. In this interface, we specify a type parameter of t and then we will add a property that only supports a getter this property is of type t we also create a method that returns t Now let's create a new reference of type I covariant. The type parameter we specify here is going to be a vehicle. On the right hand side, because we don't have any class that implements I covariant, we just specify a null. And we cast this null to I covariant of vehicle so this is just a trick we could have a class here that implements i covariant and be instantiated here now if you remember from our example here we were assigning a more specific and a more drive type to a less drive type now let's do this with these interfaces a more drive type to a less drive type and in our example we had just getters like this one but we are getting errors here why is that but C sharp is not going to understand this if we not explicitly explain it to it so if we want to explain this to C sharp, we have to specify a keyword here. Since we are outputting objects from this interface, we specify an out here. Now you can see the red lines disappear. So we are assigning a more drive type to a less drive type. Now let's create another interface. We call this one I contra variant. This has also a type parameter of T. In this interface, 
we have a property that has only setters and a method that returns void and accepts a parameter of type t now let's create another reference this time from i contravariant and we specify weaker as its type we do the same trick here because we are not going to create another class now if you remember in contravariant we assign a less drive type to a more drive type so let's do this we change this vehicle to a car and we are getting errors now we have to explicitly tell c -sharp, this is a contravariant generic we do this with specifying another keyword called in since this interface only accepts inputs and now this one compiles so we are assigning a less drive type to a more drive type that's it now let's see something interesting if we look at system.action all the type parameters are specified as in so action type parameters are all contravariant now what about function if we see function we will see the return type is specified as out and all the inputs are specified as in so the return type is covariant and the input types are contravariant now let's take a look at a real world example for contravariant i have created an interface of i comparer this is a contravariant one i have specified vehicle as its type parameter we are comparing vehicles based on their speed i have also added the property of speed to vehicles now let's create a sorted set of cars we passing or vehicle compare and add a few cars to this now we print the speed so that we know this is working now let's run the application as you can see this has sorted all the cars Please like this video and leave a comment. If you have any question, ask me in the comments and tell me what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching and until next time, adios amigos.